State Highway Patrol post in Warren County just released a new video of a police chase where they say the suspect was going 140 miles an hour. In that chase, it ran through parts of Butler and Warren County before ending in a crash along 747. 140 miles an hour. That's a, what kind of car was he driving, Ken Brown? Driving a Hyundai, and that suspect we're talking about is still listed as an uh, inmate here at the Warren County Jail, but he is soon to be released after posting bail in this case. But he has been indicted on five charges related to the chase and crash that ensued. Troopers in Warren County clock a Hyundai moving up the interstate at 140 miles per hour. And what starts as an issue with speeding quickly turns into much more when troopers say the driver refuses to stop. Saif Mazen Ali Alawadi is the person behind the wheel of what would turn out to be a stolen vehicle taken from a home in Cincinnati, and that's according to police. It doesn't take long for this chase to move off the interstate. Here they get off near the Liberty Center in Butler County. Just run the red light. Just run the red light. The Highway Patrol says the 19-year-old Hebron, Kentucky teen can be seen running red lights through Westchester and getting back on the interstate via Cincinnati Dayton Road, and he almost loses officers here at Union Center Boulevard. Just took Union Center. Uh, took Union Center. Eventually, troopers chase the Hyundai to 747, and after running another red light, Alawadi runs into trouble. 31, 31, 31, 47, and... No, Troopers pull Saif El Awadi from the driver's seat and say they later learned he was behind the wheel with a suspended license. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Hey! The driver of the vehicle he struck suffered minor injuries and was taken to UC Westchester. Elawadi's bond in this case was set at half a million dollars, but if you could post 10% of that bond, he'd be released on GPS monitoring and strict house arrest. That's exactly what happened. According to the court's website, he has posted that $50,000 uh, bond, so he will bond out of prison and be under GPS monitoring. His next court date is scheduled for April 24th. Reporting in Lebanon, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now. Ken, thank you.